This is Rick Santiago, and I'm sitting right outside of the White House on the South Lawn. And I brought a couple of friends with me, and I'm going to introduce them to you. Let's start with you, sir. What is your name? Vladimir, and I'm an American truck driver. Marie Alfonso, and I'm an American truck driver. My name is Victor, American truck driver. Alex, American truck driver. Vladimir, American truck driver. Vitaly, American truck driver. Alex, American truck driver. <coughs> We're here today right outside of the White House for one reason and one reason only. We are being gouged on the rates that are being offered to us to supply America their goods during this COVID-19 pandemic. We are not going to stop our fight for justice. We are asking the President of the United States to hear our voices. We are not statistics. We are people. Do you guys have an organizer? Are you the organizer? Yes, sir. Can I get some information from you? It's a secret service right here. Sure. Just very simple. Um, so what is the name of your... Are you guys a demonstration? No, sir. No, sir. What would you call yourself? Are we just... We're truck, truck drivers truck. of America. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. We just came here to shed some light on this industry and how we and regular people are being robbed by the brokers. So truck drivers of America? Yes, sir. Do you get paid more per mile to drive that than we do? I do not. I do not. Um, so to promote no. awareness of the industry? To shed some light on transportation industry. We've already spoken to a li liaison from the White House, okay. uh, Tim, Tim Williams. Uh, they're aware that we're here. We've got all the trucks here. Yeah, we've, we've heard you guys. Thank you. Yeah. So that means the president has heard us too. Uh, I, I can't speak for him, but um, there's a possibility. Sure, sure. So how many how many are there of you? Uh, how many truck drivers are there? Well, yeah, how many are going to be demonstrating? Oh, we're not demonstrating. We're, we're just going to do this video, and then we're going to go back to our trucks. Okay, so about... Would you say 30, 40? 27. 27. And how long are you going to be here? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Any um, sound equipment? No, sir. Our voices, that is our sound equipment. Alrighty. Any civil disobedience? Absolutely not. Alrighty. Have a good day. All right, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you for your professionalism. Give them a round of applause, please. We will not be silenced. We will not be silenced. That's one man. We're dealing with thousands of brokers. Am I right or wrong? Thousands of brokers that are taking our money. Mr. President, I'm sure you're going to be aware of this. That was Secret Service right there. Let me break it down to you in dollars and cents. Our, our average operating cost is fair to say two dollars a mile minimum two dollars a mile however we are being paid 60 70 80 90 cents a mile to operate or to operate to haul essential goods to haul food to haul water etc there's a pandemic within trucking the trucking industry i encourage you to listen to our voices listen to our concerns don't let corporate modules try to get into your head don't let nobody who has ever driven a truck, such as Elaine and Chow, get into your head. We are people. You have stated repeatedly that we are essential. We are not expendable. Am I right or wrong? You're right. You're right. You're right. There's no more cheap freight. 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 We want these brokers regulated. We want them investigated. We've lost enough money. Am I right or wrong? Right. Okay. We want what's fair. We want transparency. We want justice. Justice. If there's talks about this pandemic continuing for months, we cannot operate one more week. Am I right or wrong? You're right. We cannot operate one more week. And if you think there's a problem now in America, imagine no food on the shelves again. It is us, the men and women of America that haul this freight. Am I right or wrong? You're right. You're right. Absolutely right. Here we go. <laughs> do, you, do you guys have a permit or a permit number? 
Uh, no. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, they're trying to stop us. The devil is working hard, isn't he? Yeah. The devil is working hard. We're strong. We are strong. We want to stay here. <laughs> the devil is working hard. This can't get any more real than it's getting right now. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, we're on a double-edged sword. We're damned if we do, and we're damned if we don't. If we don't, if we don't haul this freight, America goes hungry. If we haul this freight, we go hungry. There is a no-win situation here. We are American citizens. Our Constitution gives us the right and to pursuit of happiness. Are we happy right now? No. 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 We're not happy. Okay? But we're making sure that the supermarkets are happy. We're making sure that the American public is happy. We'd like to take our kids out whenever this country opens up. We can't even afford to do that. I'm probably going to get arrested next, just so you guys know. <laughs> People are going to throw dirt on me. And every truck driver here will know why. So let me tell you first. I've got an arrest record. I've got three public intoxications. That means that I went to a bar, got drunk, and did not drive home. I walked. Would you guys do the same thing? Yes. Okay. My CDL is the most important thing that I have. That's it. And I don't want to live in regret. I'd rather spend four hours in a drunk tank than the rest of my life living in regret. That's it. We need help, and we need it now. Every single person that is watching this here and now needs to understand that without truck drivers, America will fold. That's it. We supply from your make, from your milk haulers to your oversized carriers to your flatbeds, your vans, your reefers, your, your low boys. We are the reason why America is great. We want to keep America great. And honestly, we need to rebuild America all over again. Do not let anyone sway your opinion about who is behind the wheel. We are not robots. We are people. Am I right or wrong? Yes, you're right. We are people. We are not being disobedient. We're asking the president to hear us. Share this and let him know that the truck drivers of America need help. A slow roll, and everybody will tell you, a slow roll is the beginning. We're letting it be known there's an issue. We did a huge mayday call to the president of the United States two days ago. You guys have seen it. We're standing in the back of the White House, and there she is right there. We need help. We need it now. Our insurance rates. Is insurance a problem for you guys? Yes, our insurance. How can we pay our insurance? If we don't pay our insurance, what do they do? They suspend our MC. We can't operate. It is a no-win situation. I'm asking the President of the United States right there. Listen to the voice of the truck drivers. As far as me, God has forgiven me for anything I've ever done. And in my American allegiance vow, we are all one nation under God. Yes, we are. God bless you all. Thank you. You got to fight the fight, man. We got to fight the fight. We'll try to get out of it. We got to. Oh, we will get out of it. We will. Yes, sir. What is your name? Albert. I'm an American truck driver. You're an American truck driver. Mariana Dos Santos, dispatch. There you go. Look at that. We got a dispatcher. Miguel, American truck driver. Cesar, American truck driver. Carlos, American truck driver. Yaima, American uh, dispatcher. Good morning, American truck driver. Luis, American truck driver. Good morning, American truck driver. Now imagine, we're here. There are hundreds of thousands of others right now that are hauling this freight at 90 cents a mile. Not because they want to, but because they have to. God bless you all. Share this. And let them know that we will not stop fighting. And let me get out of here for that CIA guy. <laughs> <laughs>